Hi, this is Nicholas Yock, a registered education and migration agent from Pathway to Oz. Uh, at Pathway to Oz, we hope to guide you on your easiest pathway to permanent residency in Australia. Uh, look, we are often asked by like students or clients, you know, if they can get sponsored. Um, and usually it comes down to their work experience and their education. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna discuss the requirements for an applicant to get sponsored by a company in Australia. Uh, we do have a separate video on like what are the requirements from the company's perspective. Um, so check that out and we'll put a link below. So this video is going to specifically focus on what are the requirements for the applicant in required to get sponsored. Please note the information provided is general in nature. Look, so when we talk about getting sponsored, um, we're actually referring to the most popular um, employer sponsored visa in Australia, which is the TSS visa, subclass 482. Um, and in order to get sponsored, you must have a company that is eligible to sponsor you. So it's been approved as a standard business sponsor and they are willing to nominate you in your occupation. Pretty simple. Um, you also need to meet the English language requirement. So either have you know, a passport from an English speaking country or otherwise you're gonna need to have around IELTS 5. Um, the big requirement for the applicant is the education and the work experience requirement and this is what we're gonna get into. I mean, look, the work exp experience requirement, so immigration state that they want you to have at least two years of work experience in your nominated occupation or a related field. So generally speaking as well, you should have gained the, the two years of experience on a full-time basis within the last five years. Um, please note, it does not need to be continuous. Um, generally speaking, it can be part-time as well. Um, yeah. So if you have only worked you know, in the occupation for one year, it is very unlikely that you'll be able to get sponsored. But if you've worked in your occupation for five, you, sh you, know, you, you probably should meet that requirement. Um, so the education requirement, this is also very important and it's also part of the you know, requirement for the visa. So generally speaking, you should hold a re relevant qualification at the required skill level. So this required skill level is determined by ANSCO. We'll put the link below. Um, and look, obviously different occupations have different you know, skill levels or different required different level of education. So for example, a marketing specialist, um, if you jump on ANSCO and you check it out, you can see that it's, well, that you'll need to have a bachelor degree or higher. Um, if you don't hold a bachelor degree, at least five years of relevant work experience may substitute for a relevant qualification. All right, so for the occupation of carpenter, for example, the indicative skill level is a lot lower. So you don't, you don't need a bachelor to be a carpenter. So according to ANSCO, the skill level is an AQF or an Australian Qualification Cert 3, including at least two years of on-the-job training or a Cert 4. Um, however, they do say if you do have at least three years of relevant work experience, this may substitute for the formal qualification. Look, there are other types of employer-sponsored visas out there. If you don't specifically meet the requirements, you've got the permanent employer-sponsored 186, link below, skilled regional subclass 494, or you know, potentially even a training visa, which generally only requires you know, 12 months of either study or work experience. So it's a little bit lower. So we do have different videos on these. So if you don't meet this, you know, the employer sponsored visa requirements so you can't get sponsored, there might be other, there might be other visas for you. Um, look, I hope you found this information helpful. Uh, please note the information provided is general in nature and may not be specific to your situation. Um, if you do want to discuss your situation in detail, we would recommend chatting with a registered migration agent. Thank you.